We live in uncertain times. China has identified the cause of the mysterious new virus. Just left behind two years of coronavirus, which impacted us in one way or another and completely regardless of what our personal views are. And now we look towards Russia and its potential conflict with the Ukraine. We kind of know that planning is important. YouTube is full of advice in terms of making better plans, be more productive. And it also teaches us why without a plan, we can't achieve anything. But how do we plan when so much is uncertain around us? Surely nobody could foresee the effects that coronavirus had on our environment and on our very own personal life. So surely no plan in the world would have worked out. Or could it? For about 15 years of my life, I was a risk manager in the financial industry. And when I say risk manager, I'm not only talking about financial data or the stock market. The majority of my work was really related to how the company works, the processes and procedures, and how we can make them robust enough so that even in times of a disaster, we could still operate. One of the greatest tools is something called scenario analysis. What that means is that you come up with a scenario that could severely affect your business and then you try to figure out what to do about it. For example, how would you deal with a power outage that could last a full week? Or what if 30% of all your employees would quit in a single week? Or what if Jeff from accounting would finally leave you alone? In all my 15 years in that line of work, not a single of those scenarios that I came up with came true. And yet that same exercise helped us navigate disasters that we couldn't foresee. So this is what we'll be talking about today, because there are a few things in that exercise that made it clear to me what helps planning in times of uncertainty. The very first question we always asked ourselves is, what are we trying to achieve here? Your business can become very complex very quickly. We very easily lose sight of what's truly important. But answering this very question, what are we trying to achieve here, is the most essential for your scenario plan. Because once you are clear what this elusive goal is, you at least know which direction to take. Go on then, come up with a scenario for your life. Maybe you are passed over for promotion again. How do you feel? Angry? Hard done by? After all, you worked so hard, it just doesn't seem fair. What is it that you truly want from your career? You might be very tempted to say that corner office, the promotion, a certain amount of money, or being in a position to finally fire Jeff from accounting. But those things are very rarely the true answer. Maybe for you it is to be recognized as an expert in your field of work or buying back a little bit more time to do things that you love or being in a position to actually focus on the things that truly matter to you as opposed to delivering those boring numbers to Jeff. When you become clear on the direction of your life or your career, that planning process becomes much easier. Because yes, even with all the uncertainty around you, even if you get passed over for promotion, you know that you can still focus on the things that truly matter. But it doesn't stop there. When I looked at what would happen if 50% of our employees fell ill, and yes, there was an actual scenario that we came up with, I was very quick to determine all the things I was willing to sacrifice. That fancy report that got so much praise, gone. That podcast that our clients loved, put on hold. Those sales figures that we had to give to Jeff, yeah, those we still had to do. We are all very distracted in our life. We even devised enough tools to keep us distracted. It's easy to forget what to focus on, but when you finally come up with a scenario that's a little bit out of the ordinary, you suddenly realize what truly matters. Like when you devise a scenario that three years in a row you miss the anniversary with your wife because you have to work. Or you delay that travel that you talked about for the past five years because 
it's just more secure to keep working for another year. Suddenly, you know where to put your energy in. And that leads me to the third point why scenario planning is such a powerful tool. We are hardwired to do more, more work, more exercise, more love, more money, more happiness. But when you come up with a scenario for your life, you will inevitably come across one very important question. How do we deal with less? Every single scenario over those 15 years had this one thing in common. This question, how do we cope with less? And it means you have to come to terms with the fact that you can't achieve the full result that you would in normal times. And apart from this direction and the focus that we already talked about, it meant that we were mentally prepared. We were okay with less. And because we were, we also grew more grateful for the things that went beyond this bare minimum. The very fact that we now knew what good enough looks like meant that we could truly enjoy the things that went beyond that. Yeah, being passed over for promotion sucks. But it doesn't define you. Once you think it through, you will realize all the things that you can do to progress your career further. And when that promotion finally comes through, you won't feel entitled to it, but you'd rather see it as a nice bonus on top of work that is already defined by being recognized, by feeling fulfilled in what you do, and by working in a way that gives you the freedom to do what you love. And after all, Jeff isn't that important in your life. What I'd love is for you to take charge of your career and your life. And one way I'm trying to achieve that is by creating those videos here on the channel and pointing out the things that help me. But I'd also be very curious what keeps you from getting to that stage. If you could put those things in the comment section below, I'd really appreciate it. Because likelihood is that where you have some thoughts or some issue, many people around you, including myself, might face the same thing. And by discussing it here on the channel, it'll help us all. Now, I do wish you a great week further. I will see you next time. Take care.